Well, a couple of weeks ago, John put out a call for those who wanted one of those highly coveted U.S. Farm Report mugs, and the response was almost overwhelming. He joins us now from the farm. Okay, I want to start today with an update on the great mug giveaway. Well, it's over. Not only did we receive far more entries than I had my wildest expectation, we ran it headlong into some, well, supply chain issues. First, all of the old red mugs are gone. There were only about 40 to begin with, and they ran out the first day after I announced the offer. I'll still try to sort through the best answers, but it's kind of an early bird situation. Second, I'm out of the new mugs as well. I buy them by the gross, but those too are gone. Third, I'm out of boxes, both doubles and singles. It takes me about 10 minutes per mug to assemble, box, tape, and address a mug. And that's when everything goes well. So when a field work window unexpectedly opened up this week, mailing slowed to a crawl. Well, a halt, actually. Finally, I had a serious discussion with my postmaster, since it takes on average about three minutes to weigh and label these packages. The idea of me showing up with, say, 30 would make her day very difficult, not to mention the poor dude in line behind me. Consequently, I'm mailing them out in smaller, manageable lots for both our sakes. I inadvertently loaded Tyne with extra work too, as she manages our inbox and must separate the legitimate questions from car insurance and gutter guard offers. Thanks more than I can say for your participation. I'm still wading through the actual questions, but I will make these pronouncements. I will not be answering any gardening questions. I would get in trouble with a nearby master gardener. And I have no idea what the impact of the Ukraine war will be on food prices and availability in the future. That is a moving target. I may address this sad event later, but the best information now will come from our market experts, not me. Now, I had told Tyne I would answer a question this week about the farmer's share of the food dollar, which I consider a useless economic measurement, but I don't have any time left. I promise to visit that topic more fully in an upcoming show to explain my opinion. In summary, Thanks a bunch for watching and for your interest. Almost everyone will be getting a new style mug and a few of you will score the double win. Well, what John forgot to mention is I actually field those emails and I'm a tad behind. Okay, actually really behind. So John still has not actually received all of your emails, but we promise to get those in the coming weeks. Well, your Easter meal may include ham this year, maybe some cheese, but for one dairy producer, it's the case of the...